Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Woodburn's Solving Your China Business Pain Points. My name is Christina Kohler Colucci. I'm the head of business advisory at Woodburn Accountants and Advisors. And in today's episode, we are going to be looking at whether you have thought about doing a health check for your China business. A corporate health check can ensure longevity and success in China. How do you know if your China business is healthy and its current operations comply with the local laws and regulations? Doing a re regular health check on your company is a good way to give you the transparency and the clarity and the ability to sleep well at night knowing that everything is going according to plan. Now, in the past few years, tax authorities have strongly enforced the collection of taxes, imposing significant penalties for tax evasion. These fines can go up to a maximum of five times the amount of outstanding taxes, while surcharges could reach about 18% per annum on the taxes owed. Health checks are an important part of managing risks. In China, a health report on the company will verify that it is complying with local business, foreign exchange, relevant tax laws and regulations. Entities that are non-compliant risk losing their business license in the country, among other legal consequences, let alone image issues that might develop out of it. A corporate health check is an audit conducted by an independent contractor who is hired to inspect the accounting and legal compliance within the organization. But I just want to highlight that's usually what they check. They can also look at other areas specifically where you may have a feeling that something is not right. In general, services of this kind consist of opening the company up to investigate possible compliance issues. These checks assess the business status with all relevant government institutions. A company can know if their actions and operations are clean by examining tax filing, social security payments, up-to-date licensing, general corporate housekeeping. And given the complicated tax laws and procedures in China, it is common for foreign entities to overlook or simply ignore compliance regulation. It is important to distinguish which type of check is required before conducting an actual corporate health review. There are two different types of corporate health checks, a high level corporate health check and an in-depth gap analysis. A high level corporate health check is a form of review that focuses on a company's, on a company's three key areas of legal compliance, registry filings, minutes of meetings, and statutory registers. The person in charge of the check can quickly evaluate the legal compliance of the firm through an in-depth analysis of these documents. The in-depth gap analysis looks more into finances and accounting. Health checkers, investigators, can dive into a company's transactions and financial statements and find issues or gaps in their filings. And this process will verify um, if a company is maintaining good and proper accounting practices. Evaluating both legal financial sectors of the company will provide the most conclusive and reliable result and guarantee the most review. As part of the financial area, I just want to highlight that HR issues, payroll, and whatnot is part of that. Corporate health checks are crucial to avoid being penalized by financial or legal authorities, and this is particularly the case for newer or foreign companies who are not yet familiar with the local corporate laws. During recent years, there have been numerous changes to major business legislation. Amendments to corporate law can easily slip under the radar of the business owners. So to avoid penalties and fines, it is always advised to get a check and evaluate if updates are necessary. A corporate health check can highlight the potential consequences in relation to the non-compliance practices for the period under review to facilitate the future corrective actions and provide high level suggestions to rectify non-compliance issues. It can also identify areas whereby the overall tax efficiency of the current operations of the China entity may be improved. Some of the taxes in China that a health check review would normally focus on are income tax, withholding tax, business um, value added tax, consumption tax, customs duty, stamp duty, individual income tax, etc. Generally, these are the taxes that a foreign invested entity in China would be subject to. And based on the company, the review could also include the compliance status with respect to the business and foreign exchange laws and regulations. Health checks are not there to be negative to the organization. Um, when you go to your staff in China, you say, hey guys, we're gonna start doing internal audits on a frequent basis. This may make them feel like you don't trust them, that there's no more loyalty, that there are issues. 
think it's all about mindset and rephrasing that by saying, hey, guys, we need to become more efficient. We are on a path to grow and scale. We have KPIs and objectives that we want to reach. In order to get there, I am getting external parties to come in to just make sure that from an administrative standpoint, we are compliant, that we are efficient, and just get ideas whether there are areas of improvement that we can make that will help us to save time, potentially cost, um, but also help us to mitigate any risk based on the growth and the scaling that we want to achieve. This is very different than saying, hey, guys, I'm going to get a spy to come in and see the work you're doing, right? We don't want to cause, we don't want to rock the boat at all within our company organizations, but we do want to make them better. And I always believe in using the Japanese principle of Kaizen, which is um, improving our organizations by 1% every single day. So how can we do that? Health checks don't have to be annually. They can occur when you feel like they should occur. For example, you've got an investor coming in or you just want to have a review done or you're putting in more financial investment capital. So you just want to make sure everything is reporting um, to, to according to standard. In addition to that, if you've got um, people, individuals within the corporate management structure who just for their own transparency and clarity, want to have reviews done on a regular basis because they hold a certain liability within the organization. Fair enough, right? You should always get director's liability and officer's liability insurances. But I understand their point of view saying, you know, the PLs are not enough. I want somebody to go in and investigate and, and make sure we're okay. That's also totally up to them to decide. So if you are at this stage where you're thinking about developing a health check system, on a recurring basis, um, or you just want to understand more about what the health check actually means, we've provided a link to our diary. You can set up a 15-minute call with us. We'd be happy to have a discussion with you about what you're looking to do and see whether we at Woodburn can help you. If you enjoyed today's video, please press that like button, share our video. It helps us to gain more traction um, in the world. Um, and last but not least, if you'd like to learn more about our services, head on over to Woodburn Global. Dot com. We have the full list of so services, client testimonials. Um, you can also head on over to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of longer length videos that may help you as well um, to overcome your pain points in China. I wish you a great day. Take care and goodbye.